Okay, here I am at the top of Meon Hill, a Neolithic fort in Warwickshire. In front of me is what's known as a witch tree. It's an old oak tree, but there are many stories surrounding that, as there are on the top of this hill, actually. Um, let's start about the, the Celtic King Arawayan. Now he is supposed to be up here with a lot of black dogs. I'm riding a pale white horse. So if you see a pale white horse and black dogs with red ears, run. <laughs> yeah, he basically, I think he came to collect the souls of the departed. I'm not here today, but if you come at night time, I think that's the time to do it. Okay, I'd just like to draw attention to this uh, lovely little book um, written by the Reverend James Harvey Bloom, the folklore in Shakespeare Land, published in 1929-1930. There's a lovely little story at the bottom. I'll just read a little paragraph here. Along the villages of the plain below the hill are many old folk living who will tell to those they can trust creepy stories of hellhounds. Hellhounds, nighthounds, or hooter, as they all variously named, that in phantom wise with hounds and horn, pursue phantom foxes along the hilltops at midnight. Many are the legends to account for uncouth sounds at night, which certainly do occur. Now I love this, this is a good story, I like this bit, this, this huntsman gets his just desserts actually. He says, one, one story is told of a local huntsman uh -huh, who would not desist from his favourite sport, even on the Sabbath. And on one Sunday, judgment fell upon the ungodly crew. Huntsmen, horses and hounds fell into the chasm that opened on the hill, and they were never seen again, though they still in ghostly wise hunt at night. Well, I'm not going to come back and look for you, I don't think.